Alright, I'll be interviewing Leonie and Steve in a bit. I won't be seeing them in Auckland. That's why I'm gonna do it right now. You're tuned to the Elvin Mark Art Channel. Hey everyone, Elvin Mark here on the Elvin Mark Art Channel. We are in the Bandan Islands in Indonesia. And in this program, we have two very special guests. They are none other than Leonie Andrews and Hi. Steve. Hi. Can you share with the audience where are you guys coming from or where are you from? Yeah. We're Into. from Canberra. We're both from Canberra. And we didn't, we didn't, both of us moved to Canberra for work when we were after university and we've been there for quite a few years. Yeah. So we started, uh, I was one of the co-founders of the Urban Sketches Canberra group. Uh, we started in 2015, so seven years, and we've had a lot of new members since the pandemic because our country was closed down and people found a new interest in sketching. I first met you guys in... Singapore. Singapore. Oh, Singapore 2015 symposium? Uh, probably after oh, that because after I was that. still in Italy. Ah, yeah, yeah, so okay. at the ferry one of, one of the park. Walks, yes. Yeah, That's that. Right. So, and I've seen them ever since in almost all the travel sketch events that I've been to. So, and they're here again. So, it's nice catching up with them. We're going to check out their sketches and what they've been up to and also what they're planning or where they're planning to head to next. Uh, so, we met in Singapore. And then uh, Tai Chong, were you Chung. in Tai Chong? Tai Chong. You found the original bubble tea shop. Chung. That's right. So if you want to check that clip out, it's right here or there. Yeah, right there. Or Port Amsterdam. 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 Were you in Hanoi also? No, no we missed no. out on Hanoi. We do share with us, why do you travel and sketch? We travel and sketch because it's a really good way to make the travel memories last longer. If you just take a photo, it doesn't stick in your mind, but when you sketch, you're forced to actually look at what's around you. And I know that the more I draw, the more things I see, and that then becomes a basis of really solid memories. And also too, it's a great excuse to visit interesting places slow travel it you slows you down it's not on the tourist go here go there go there all the uh, tourist spots and then see that very quickly just take photos go somewhere else do the same thing again so i like it we just slow down we sketch because when you can travel anywhere in the world and there's always something to sketch so we like it and also sketches to meet. We've caught up with sketches in all around the world, um, in Evora, in Portugal, Paris, Barcelona, Tokyo, and everywhere we've been, we've actually met, we've often met other sketches that we know. So Sometimes we, just, just we're not planning to meet them, but we just see them. Yeah, run into them. It it's a, a beautiful small. small world. It's a beautiful small sketching world. First sketch in uh, Banda was the pupung, the poison, the fish poison tree, which we notice is always growing next to the uh, beaches. Yes. Well, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> this is a sketch in uh, the nutmeg tree, just near the kitchen, and I just really like the sort of simple shapes of the windows, the colours. It's nice and straightforward. Then this is our first official sketch walk up on Fort uh, Belgica, Benteng Belgica, yeah. uh, the Dutch fort built in the early 1600s and these were all the uh, sketches from Ambon all sitting on nice. the edge. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Where are the more memorable places that you've been to and why, why did it stick? I think somewhere like Evora in Portugal because we were able to go and look at these prehistoric monuments, the big stone circles there, some of the oldest ones in Southern Europe. And we were there before we went to Porto. So that was a good thing to just have a look around at the country. And we literally met 
sketches sitting on the street sketching. We met Sahita and she was sketching there and then we met some other sketches from Evera and that was great. We didn't even know that they had a group there so it was fantastic to meet them all. And that way too, local people always give you uh, good ideas about where to sketch. All of the symposiums there, they're full on and they're fantastic for anybody to go to. But um, I walked the Camino a cup about just before the pandemic and my goal was to sketch every day while I was walking. So I did a sketch every day and I posted it online, my sketches, so people could see them. People who were walking on the Camino started following because they knew that I was sketching. So the whole experience of just doing that for more than a month, is, I thought that's very memorable. Where to next? Oh, Auckland Symposium. So yeah, we got our tickets, yeah. got in early and uh, we're really looking forward to Symposium coming back and uh, being able to catch up with even more people we know. Yes, yes. Well, that's the special thing next year. Um, after Auckland, we're actually going to travel Heading, to yes. Paris and then down to Saint-Jean-Pierre-de-Port yes. to start doing a Camino. I haven't walked it, Steve has. So it's, and, and we'll, we'll sketch, sketch as we go. And we'll Walk. We won't walk too far, we'll just do it easy and slow, but we'll see the uh, Camino, I love it. So. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to those sketches because I've been on it too, so yeah. yeah. So I'm really thrilled to say we've got a big contingent of Australians and also people from our group coming to the Auckland Symposium, so that's going yeah. to be fantastic. Go Canberra! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that you do craft stuff and you were yes. like doing etchings of the the stone in the church. Yes, Are you going to include them into... Yes. Tell, tell us more about um, that. The... So I trained at the Australian National University School of Art. I went back as a mature age student. So I have quite broad art training. And when I saw all of those beautiful um, tombstones on the floor, I decided to take some rubbings and what I'm going to do is I'll keep the originals, but I'll probably copy them and I'd like to maybe collage them into another painting or a work. I was hoping to do it on yesterday, but I just in the end decided it was too much and too... Okay. So I'm thinking that I'll take it and collage it. Uh, there wasn't enough time to do it yesterday. It was just too short a period of time. So, uh, but I used a thin paper. I just had uh, some thin paper from uh, just a travel journal. And one of the other sketches gave me a slightly bigger sheet of thin paper. And I used a graphite stick and just put the paper on top and took the rubbings. So just amazing tombstones and the carvings were just so beautiful on them. Thank you. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out too. I'll leave the links, Instagram. Yes, and YouTube. And, and YouTube, that's yeah. right, uh, down in the description box. Yeah. Um, so for those who are sitting on a fence, you know, um, and they're wondering whether they should pick up this sketching as a new hobby because you've started a chapter yeah. in Canberra. How would you encourage the audience? I think the thing people need to know about urban sketching is that it's not about the best or being perfect. It's about coming out and enjoying and meeting with people and sitting down and sharing the sketching. The sketching comes as you keep coming to the meeting. So a lot of people don't like their first sketches, but that's okay because we're not about perfection. We're about doing the sketch and enjoying meeting the people and seeing whether it's your own city or somewhere else. And if you want to travel to very interesting places, places a little bit off the tourist track, then urban sketching is the way to go. It's fantastic. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your sharing, um, your history and everything that you've learned about urban sketching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for your time. Yeah. It's a pleasure. And it's time to say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. goodbye. Thank you, Romy.
meet you somewhere soon. 